All right, here we are. Game two. Game two between your University School Sharks as well as Barracuda's University School Sharks take that game two or game one with ease. Let's see what they could do with game two. We get right on into this draft. USS, they've banned out Drow, Void, Dazzle, Omni Knight, and they've headed towards Bloodseeker, Oracle, Darkseer, OD. So they've got their three cores set. OD in that mid lane, Darkseer in the off lane, and Bloodseeker in the safe lane for the side of Barracudas. It's an interesting draft from them as well. And Warlock, Axe, and Necro. With the bands out of Warlock, of, uh, Shadow Demon, Phantom Assassin, Slardar, and Silencer. So Animage gets picked up. Interesting picks coming out from Barracuda. Safe lane Animage, Shaw lane Axe, maybe a mid Necro with support Warlock, unless that's support Necro and support Warlock for the side of Barracuda. We'll have to see. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. So last bands coming out from both sides. We take a look at what's there for the lockdown for both sides and fortunes and for Oracle vacuum sort of astral imprisonment for OD. So they need another support that gives them a stun, something like a witch doctor. You know that uh, coconut will do a lot of good for them as well as the ulti death ward. Now let's see if Barracudas haven't answer for that if they see that coming through and keeper of the light will be the last band for uss so barracudas their last band is the timber saw even though their cores are set on the side of uss and barracudas they get the first last pick So let's see what they can do and Reserve time. what they want to use on this last pick. Got to think to yourself that the three cores are Necro, Animage, and Axe, so they do need another support. Could go with the Witch Doctor themselves, or Shadow Shaman wouldn't be too bad. Bit of pushing potential as well as some lockdown. Have to see. Hey. They go with the Huskar, so Huskar, Animage, and Axe going to be your cores. That could also be a jungle axe, put Necro in a lane and try to get himself some farm. But it's an interesting pick. I'm not too sure that's going to work well up against what USS is throwing their way. We'll see what they go with last, if that's going to be a support. And my call is the Witch Doctor. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Let's see what they want to go with for the side of USS. Can they go with Invoker? <clears throat> okay, interesting lineup. Very interesting lineup, honestly. Z Turk, Conkle, Sports Slot, Corey. Am I missing something? Was Z-Turk uh, in the last game? Not have his name set. Ten seconds remaining. 
So Ken G9000 on the Huskar, I am on that Animage. He did play Omni Knight last game, so it's interesting. All around from the side of Barracuda. Crocto, who was on the Tiny, is now playing Axe. Doggy on the, on the Necrophos. All right. Phantom was playing the Sniper. We'll have to see where everybody goes. This is... Very interesting. Conkle, who is on the Kunkka, now playing the Bloodseeker. Sports slot, who was on that offlane. Slardar sticks with the Darkseer in that offlane slot. Corey OD getting pinged out by Old Chance. All right. So, Jungle Bloodseeker. Safe lane OD, mid invoker, off lane Darkseer. 30 seconds to battle. It's maybe the thought. I don't know, these are some interesting lineups. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know what Bar Barracuda are gonna do with this lineup. They've got nothing to keep this Huskar alive. It could just it, it might as well be another smash for the side of USS. That's gonna be trouble. The battle starting. Alright, Bounty Rune's picked up by the Invoker and Animage, and I am. He's gonna be going down low. He did. Again, he did play the Omni Knight last game, so we'll see how he chooses to play this Animage. Turk, Z Turk, is gonna be in the mid lane. And if that's Force Fished, he was playing the Timbersaw last game. Conkle. Is going to be Jungle Bloodseeker with the OD and Oracle up top. I can hear chat. Interesting. Sport slot is going to be in this offlane. I could hear chat. What? All right. Either way, we're on to this game. Let's let's do this. So OD Oracle up top against Croc Chow and Phantom. They're gonna duel in this off lane, and it's Axe are already. He's just level one, and he's gonna have a tough time. Of course, if he gets the call, he should be all right. But there's a lot to slow him down. Fortune Zen, as well as an Astro Imprisonment, could be his demise. They're definitely gonna have to be careful. Phantom can only do so much with that level one in his heel shadow word. Take a look over mid Zeturk. On the Invoker should have an easy time up against Kenji in this mid lane, especially if Conkle comes over early on. He gets himself a quick level 6 in the jungle. Oscar is going to find himself in a whole bunch of trouble. For this off lane, uh, you know, you'll probably see an Iron Town come out for sports. Well, maybe, maybe not, actually, as he could just use the Ion Shell to grab himself some farm and push back this Animage if uh, I am not too careful. So we take a look up top. Not really much of anything happening. Level 2 for this Oracle. Level 2 for the OD. Saw that coming. <coughs> Excuse me. And Conko still farming away in this jungle. He is already level 3. See what direction USS go in if they can find themselves another stomp. Astro Imprisonment comes out on a creep. Phantom, he's not going to get hit by it. This creep will, though. It will eat a little bit of damage from that Astro Imprisonment. We take a look over at Doggy down low as well as I am on the Anti Mage. And, uh, Sports Slot. He's doing what I said he'd do. Get two and eye on Shell. Continue to farm with it and just try and keep himself in lane. Conko, level four, looking for an early level six. You get yourself nice rupture onto Kenji. And with Z-Turk, you could probably bring him down with Sunstrike. He's either got to lose life or get Sunstruck. And it's a hard decision when you're a Huskar, especially up against this side of USS. So not much of anything happening. Top three in the CS leaderboard are all from the side of USS. This 
Fourth slot, continuing to farm up. He's only nine and two, not too great for a dark seeker. We t dark seer. We take a look up top. Fortunes then comes the way of Croc Chow. Maybe they look for the astro imprisonment. There's Shadow Word, and that should heal him up enough to stay alive in this lane. So it really falls on when Conko hits level 6, then the rotations will come out. We'll see how USS try to play it down low. Sports slot getting very low. Blink is available from IM, and Sports slot will just use this salve to heal up and stay in lane as well as a clarity. So, I'm gonna keep himself in lane. Should be okay to farm up some more, and we'll continue on. Excuse me, I'm trying to not sniffle like that. It's disgusting. So Conko just about level 6. Like I said, it falls on when he finds himself ready to make his moves. And I wouldn't be too surprised, actually, if the move does come top. With the Sunstrike invoked on Invoker mid... They could go top, stop the axe from moving, use the Sun Strike Fortune's End, as well as the follow-up from OD to go in on him. And really, everybody from the side of Barracuda gotta be wary for Conko to come out of this jungle. There's the Fortune's End thrown forward on Phantom. No follow-up. He is level 6, and he's continuing to farm. Has phase boots ready in his stash. Let's see if he starts to make a rotation. So coming over is Chance again. Fortune Zen thrown forward on Phantom. But still no rotation from the side of USS as OD continues to farm. Let's go look over mid. There's the rupture out on Kenji with the cold snap. First blood goes the way of Z-Turk. Like I said, the rotations all depend on when Conkle feels ready to go. And with phase boots in level 7, he feels confident. He's rolling forward into this top lane. There's the fortune Zen on Croc Chow. Astro Imprisonment will keep him close, and now there's the Arcane Orb. One more shot, Conkle finds another kill. Looking to bring down Chance, but not going to find anything. Now trying to TP out, Fortune Zen It's not going to stop him, and he will TP out. So 2 nothing already for USS, and Net Worth is already 3,000 in their favor. Top 3 on the Net Worth chart belong to USS, and it's looking to turn into another one of those stomps from USS, as we saw last game. So Conko, he'll TP down low maybe looking to help out sports slot and he's here where's the rupture on i am he's gonna blink forward he didn't blink far enough he took a lot of damage is in trouble down he goes doggy he's gonna get low and it's another kill for uss for nothing already this is just the rough life for barracuda Conko has the ability to just move around this map and find easy kills. He got himself quite a bit of farm in that jungle, and now with the kills, it only gets worse from here for the side of Barracuda up against this Bloodseeker. Oh, there's Cold Snap on Phantom. He's in a bit of trouble. There's the Forge Spirits doing a lot to him. One more, two more shots would bring him down, and he'll fall as it's 5 nothing in favor of USS. Take a look at this axe. He's in trouble. He'll fall to chance. 6-0 in favor of University School Sharks. Oh my 
God, I can't follow these kills. Conkle's gonna go in on the Huskar. They bring down another. Now 7-0 USS. And they are just way out in front this early on. It's already over 5,000 net worth. Nine minutes in. Just the stomp and a half. So you take a look at these items and mech almost finished, or headdress almost finished on Dark Series. Looking for that mech on Bloodseeker on Conco. He's looking for that Echo Saber just about done. Invoker has that Midas and still continuing forward. Maybe looking to grab himself a Yule's. Let me take a look over at OD, who is looking for a drum of his own. Croc Chow, he's got just Tranquils. Really not finding that much farm. Top four of the net worth leaderboard is all USS. And in a rough spot. Wow, we missed that too. His Barracudas, they're now down eight to nothing. Anko Hill, TP down low. Somebody's got to be low for him to move that fast. And it is the anti-mage who's in a lot of trouble. Here comes Chance. And looking for it with this smoke is Conko. And now looking for the silence on IM. There's the sun strike. And there is the rupture on IM. Hitting away, trying to find himself something onto anti-mage. Not enough damage. But he will find himself a consolation prize by killing Doggy. Up top, or actually mid, Invoker finds another kill on Huskar. So 10 to nothing, USS. And already a 10,000 net worth lead. So it's all USS in this game, too. And a rough road if Barracuda think about winning this game. To bring down this tier one should be easy for Conco and Sports Slot. They do take it, and they've taken two towers simultaneously, mid and bottom. So there's the rupture out on IM. He'll blink down low, looking to TP out. Kenji in a bit of trouble. There's the silent sunstrike coming through. Not going to be in time, but he's already dead. Now they will kill Doggy Fortune Zen being thrown forward. He'll be locked down for just a moment. And that's enough. That's all they need to bring him down low. Purifying Flames will be the finalizing shot as it's now 12 0 USS. With those kills, they find themselves yet another tower. That's tier 2 dead, 12 minutes in. So four down here for USS. I don't think they're going to stop. They're going to continue to push forward. We go around the back. They might find themselves a kill again on this Huskar. He's in a bit of trouble. Looking for another rupture up in seven seconds. Looking for the silence. And with the cold snap, it will land. And he'll be an easy victim for the side of USS. Just nothing stopping them right now. OD, he might find himself in a bit of trouble for the first time. Let's see if rotations come out from the side of USS. There's the TP in from Chance. Now coming in is Sports Slot on the Darkseer. Maybe they look to turn this around, and Sports Slot is going to spot that enemy mage blink towards that side shop. Here comes Conkle. <laughs> They'll start to hit away on this top tier one. Up by 15,000 net worth. The game not even a bit hard just yet for USS. 
Now Chance does find Croc Chow and he'll get Fortune's End up. There's the Sun Strike gonna land, but nothing more. Back you back, Phantom. He might be in a little bit of trouble. There's the Cold Snap Ion Shell coming out from Sports Slot with the Silence flying through on Doggy. One, two are dead on the side of Barracuda. 15 to nothing, USS. They'll grab this second tier two of their own. So another tier two, more net worth, 12,000 XP, 15,000 on the net worth in favor of USS. Desolator picked up for Zaturk. They look to push down mid. Finally, a blink comes out on Axe, but it looks to be a little bit too little too late. Take this tier two with ease and let's see if they continue forward or head towards Roche. They do make the choice to go towards Roche. Shadow Blade out on Conco. We took a look at I am. No Battle Fury just yet. 15 minutes in, down 15 to nothing. It's uh Looking pretty poor for this Animage, who is behind four on the side of USS. So they grab themselves the Aegis, gets put on Cory on the OD. Tread's finally finished for a Huskar. Conco, he'll push out bottom. While the rest of his team heads mid. They are smoked up, so let's see what can USS do. They'll get pinged out. I am going to get hit by one arcane orb. We take a look, Conco pushing bottom and the rest of the USS pushing mid. Starting to go on this tier three mid. Astro imprisonment out on Doggy. Let's see if they can land the Sun Strike. They do with the cold snap. And they look for more, not gonna find it. There's the silence out on Phantom. He'll drop the rock. False Promise used on Corey. Still trying to go on this Animage. He'll fall first. Now Kenji trying to bring down one. He'll be the second victim. Three dead on the side of Barracuda. Make that four. As they look to clean it up with Doggy. He's the last one alive. Fortune's end thrown forward. No retaliation from the side of USS. Said they'll take their four. They'll take this tier three mid. And work on forward towards these racks. They take one set of racks, they continue forward. Maybe they go for Mega Creeps or just finish the game with the tier fours. Dragon Lads comes out for OD. Pretty sure he finished that Hurricane Pike too. There is really not much the side of Barracuda can do down 19 nothing. And Cross Chow gets hit by that Sun Strike as well as the Cold Snap with the vacuum coming in. Purifying Flames finishes him off. Arcane Orb getting thrown at Phantom. He's getting very low. And Ion Shell as well as the OD will finish him off. Two dead on the side of Barracuda. They look for more. Fortune Zen keeps Doggy out of the base with the Sanity's Eclipse. It's now three dead. As Barracuda, all they can do is watch as their base gets ravaged by the side of USS up 22 to nothing.
That's one tier four dead. They look to grab themselves a few more kills. Silence thrown on to three. Don't find any kills in base. They grab this last tier four, and now the Ancient is exposed. And let's see if Barracuda can find a kill. So Doggy, he'll be the first to fall in this next team fight. They're looking for the dunk. Not going to find it. Three dead, four dead. Looking for five, but they won't find it. And GG is called. It's USS take this game in 20 minutes and take a 2-0 victory over Barracuda. So that's it for this best of two. USS, they take it 2 nothing, and we'll be back with another set of two at 5.30 Eastern time. That's it for now. I'm your caster, Bcop, at Bcop92 on Twitter, Bkop92. And on Twitch, twitch.tv slash gaming. Forget, we'll be back with another best of two in uh, 30 minutes or so.